Alright, so it's time for the NHL trade deadline. So again, let's go a couple weeks back to discuss the bigger trades that happened. Let's start on February 20, where the Calgary Flames got some defensive help acquiring Michael Stone from the Coyotes. This was an effective move as it has already helped TJ Brody play better. The Coyotes will receive a 2017 third round pick and a conditional 2018 fifth round pick. On the 24th, the Stars sent forward Patrick Eves to the Anaheim Ducks. The Stars will receive a conditional 2017 second rounder. On the 26th, the Kings traded for Ben Bishop and a couple draft picks. The Lightning received Peter Budai, junior defenseman Eric Cernak, and a draft pick. This trade shows that the Kings aren't quite fully confident with Jonathan Quick who is just returning from injury, and so they're calling upon Ben Bishop to help in their playoff hunt. But you gotta give props to Budai though for helping them hold up the fort. Next we have the Minnesota Wild acquiring two centermen Martin Hansel and Ryan White and also a 2017 fourth rounder from the Coyotes. The Coyotes will receive A.H. Heller, Grayson Downing, and three draft picks. On the 27th, the Leafs traded Byron Fraze and a 2017 second rounder for Brian Boyle. This is a nice trade for the Leafs because Boyle is a solid fourth line center who also brings plenty of valuable playoff experience. The Montreal Canadiens have split up the Ben brothers swapping defenseman Greg Paterin for Jordy Ben. The Stars also receive a 2017 fourth rounder. This gives Dallas another right handed shot from the blue line, while Jordy Ben gives the Habs some experience and can also contribute in the penalty kill. Next we have Alexander Bros who waived his no trade clause to accept the trade to the Ottawa Senators. He then signed a two year extension a day later. He brings plenty of playoff experience to the Sens while the Canucks get a prospect, Jonathan Dowling. The Capitals have acquired coveted defenseman Kevin Shattenkirk and also a minor league goaltender, Phoenix Copley. They gave up youngster Zach Sanford and AHLer Brad Malone, a 2017 first round pick and a 2019 conditional draft pick. With this, the Caps are solidifying their chances at the Stanley Cup this year. Shattenkirk was considered the top rental. Adding a power play specialist, the Caps now have the deepest blue line. And also, the Blues will retain 39% of his salary. On to the 28th, where the Rangers gave up two draft picks to the Red Wings for defenseman Brendan Smith. Smith was a former first round pick who will be a reinforcement on the blue line for the Rangers. And unfortunately for the Red Wings, it seems like they'll be missing the playoffs for the first time since 1990. That's 25 straight postseasons and are now in the tanking process. The Senators give a third rounder to the Hurricanes for left winger Victor Stahlberg. The Sens add more depth on the wing and some help on the PK. The Blackhawks have reacquired Johnny Oduya after one and a half seasons with the Stars. They have reunited with the veteran defenseman who won the Stanley Cup with them in 2013 and 2015. Dallas will retain 50% of his remaining contract. So the Stars get former 18th overall pick Mark McNeil and a conditional fourth round pick. The Canadians have shipped the undrafted Quebec native David Deharnay to the Oilers for defenseman Brandon Davidson. Deharnay is at the end of his long contract while the Habs will retain 20% of it. On trade deadline day, Vancouver has parted ways with longtime Canuck Yannick Hansen, sending him over to the Sharks. The Canucks will get 21-year-old prospect Nikolai Goldbin and a conditional fourth round pick. The Habs, after trading away Deharnay, quickly acquired Steve Ott from the Red Wings. The Red Wings receive a 2018 sixth round pick. The Avalanche have acquired prospect Brendan Ranford, while Arizona adds the San Antonio Rampage captain Joe Whitney to their AHL team, the Tucson Roadrunners. The Panthers have added the big veteran forward Thomas Vanek to their team. In exchange, they've sent former 10th overall pick Dylan McElrath and a 2017 third round pick to the Red Wings. The Red Wings will pick up half of Vanek's salary. The Montreal Habs have acquired Dwight King from the LA Kings. The big left winger will bring valuable playoff experience to the team winning two Stanley Cups in 2012 and 2014 with LA. The Kings will get a conditional 2018 fourth round pick. Then the Kings acquired Jerome Ginla. The 39 year old right winger had to waive his no movement clause to try to help the Kings in their run to the playoffs. So the Avalanche will get a conditional 2018 fourth round pick and also retain half of a Ginla salary. The Lightning have acquired an AHL veteran goaltender Mike McKenna and so they sent a young AHL goaltender Adam Wilcox to the Panthers. The Rangers and the Oilers swap AHL forwards Justin Fontaine and Taylor Beck. The Blue Jackets have sent defenseman Dalton Prout to the Devils. In exchange they get Kyle Quincy who adds a bit of playoff experience and some depth on their defense. The Avalanche have acquired young forward Savan Andraghetto from the Montreal Canadiens while sending left winger Andreas Martinson the other way. Now we have a three way trade between the Lightning, Flyers and Penguins. 39 year old defenseman Mark Strait was initially sent to the Lightning but quickly flipped over to Pittsburgh. The Flyers get centerman Valtteri Filpula and a couple of picks. Valtteri had a no trade clause and the Flyers was one of the 16 teams he was willing to go to. And so the Lightning get a 2018 fourth round pick. 
P.A. Parento joins his eighth different team in his NHL career, the Nashville Predators. In exchange, the Devils get a sixth round pick. The Senators have gotten rid of Curtis Lazar and Mike Koska. The young centerman Lazar was looking for a new opportunity, as he was in the final year of his entry-level contract and was set to become a restricted free agent. And Mike Koska could be a depth defenseman for the Flames, although he hasn't played an NHL game this season, but he has plenty of experience. So the Senators get defenseman Yerky Yoki Paka, who has been dealt at the deadline for the second straight year, as well as the 2017 second round pick. The Penguins have sent Eric Fair to the Toronto Maple Leafs. He was a former first round selection and won the Stanley Cup with the Penguins last year. The big veteran brings plenty of playoff experience to the team and will probably add fourth line depth. The Leafs also get defenseman Steve Alexi, who is headed straight to the Marlies to replace Frankie Corrado, and also a 2017 fourth round pick. So the young defenseman Frank Corrado, who's looking for more playing time, will be sent to the Penguins. The Bruins have added Drew Stafford to help in their playoff push, sending a conditional 6th round pick to the Winnipeg Jets. The Blue Jackets have added more forward depth to their playoff push, acquiring Laurie Korpakoski, and send prospect Dylan Hetherington, who won a Calder Cup with the Lake Erie Monsters last year, to the Dallas Stars. And finally, the Ducks have acquired former Toronto Marlies Spencer Abbott and Sam Carrick, while sending a youngster in the ECHL, Kenton Helgeson, and a 2019 7th round pick to the Chicago Blackhawks. So, we saw plenty of trades in this year's NHL trade deadline, and good luck to all your teams in the rest of the year. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you'll tune in to the next episode.